What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are back today playing some Paper Mario the Origami King Part 18. In the last episode, we actually defeated the Fire of Elemental Boss and obtained the Fire Bibliophile, which is the book that makes Olivia turn into whichever elemental we defeated. And in today's video, we're going to be unlocking the Yellow Streamer Temple. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys rock out. Thank you guys so much for the support on this channel. But now that we have the Fire of Elemental done and destroyed we got its little bibliophile like i was talking about and we can actually go over to fire fire of elemental stamps and turn into it and do whatever deed it is so first order of business we know that there was one was it up here was it up here it was in one of the temples it was either this one or the other one i think it might have been the other one to be honest this one might just have like the jewel in it but yeah okay so it is the other one we have to go over to the other one and light it with the or light the little flame with the fire of elemental thing and trigger the other three towers in order to uh make the temple arise from the ground as you guys already know if you guys been watching this playthrough which i'm guessing you have if you have made it this far that the temple right there is shooting a light beam down at the right over here and we need the other four to actually be shooting just as well in order to get that little temple up out of the ground and we can go defeat that yellow streamer but dude world 3 has been so much fun i've been having a blast with this game right here especially this world this world is probably been my favorite so far because it's so open and all that good stuff it's just dope but we're gonna head over here and show off what we can do with the new fire of elemental temple or not fire of elemental temple the fire of elemental uh little gimmick that we got it's because we got this open here and we just need this flame right here to be lit but now we walk over right here we got this thing and we can use our little elemental power right here turn into a giant phoenix while olivia will turn into the giant phoenix and just burn this place down that's it why did she just do that why don't why did she just turn into the fire of elemental and just burn the streamer down like why wouldn't you just do this like i, I just don't get it i just don't get it but i just want to see what the phoenix looks like one more time before i do skip out uh, skip out this cutscene like yo check it out check this dude out look at him he's looking dope oh yes sir let's get it let's get it but am i right like why wouldn't we just turn into the fire of elemental and just burn the streamer down or olivia just fly over there and burn down all streamers and then yay we did it we beat the game <laughs> Wouldn't that just be 10 times easier? It really would. But there we go. Light that up there. Olivia, you burned up. Amazing. They didn't teach you this in school. And I minored in regenerative emolation. I don't even know what that even means. <laughs> wow, I really lit, the, lit up this place. Oh, yes, you did. Big old flame. Oh, my gosh. I set all that black water on fire. Now it's bright in here. Wow, good lighting for sure makes a difference. But what you actually did is triggered the little jewel. And it's going to do something. Look at that thing. It's nice sparkling. Ground shaking now. Temple's turning. Doing its work. Exactly what we wanted to do. Look at the crow, dude. The crows are sick, though. <laughs> I get distracted so easily. It's hilarious. But there we go. Tower's turning. The second out of the four Toads Towers. It's going to shoot a beautiful little light beam over towards that uh, the yellow streamer. Look at it. Right? Bang. Look at that. Look at that. Looking all pretty. Looking all good. But now two left. And... If you guys are wondering, where are the other two? I actually figured this out a little bit ago. I was actually wondering, because I was wondering what I was going to do in today's video. But So I remembered that we had to light up all four of the towers. But I know there are two other exits back in Shroom City, which we're going to head to now. And I saw there was a couple other dick spots. You can see the... Uh, you can also see the towers from out in the distance. So you can kind of like follow them and figure out where they're at. So I'll show you guys like how you guys can see them out in the distance. But... You come over here. See, there's one over there. So if you go that way, you can just kind of like follow it and see where it's at. But I want to hop out right here. And this pokey will leave me alone. And I want to go dig right here. Come here, yo, dig, Toad. Dig, Toad, what we got here? Oh, yes, sir. What is that? Gold boots? Gold boots, baby. You can stop coins out at me. Yo, pokey, leave me alone. Yo, chill on me. Chill on me. Yo, chill on me. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Yo, leave me alone. I'm trying to just dig up these spaces. Pokey, let's chill. Let's dig up the space real quick. Bruh, I hate this game. I hate this game so much, it's all good. We'll face off with a few pokies. I don't know if I face off with pokies yet. I'm not too sure. Can we jump on them? I honestly have no idea. Hmm. Okay, so once I already line up there, we have two ring moves. We have two ring moves to do this. Then I just Hmm. I, mean, I could probably slide this like this. Does that work? No, it's not work. I'm trying to think. That does not work. Hold the phone. Go this way. Slide them two like this. And maybe go like this. 
Like that. Oh, yes, sir. Yo, look at me. I got it. I got it. a perfect lineup right there. I can actually hammer and I can go with. I'm going to go with my shiny eye boots because I'm not sure if I can jump on them with regular boots. They seem like they got a few spikes on their heads. So I'm going to bop on them with that. 29. Is that dude's trick? It does. Beautiful. Dead instantly. Get him out of my face. And I'm going to bring out a nice big old shiny hammer. Yo, my shiny iron boots, bro. Get out of my face. I think like my, my hammer's going to break as well. It's, it needs like a little. It has like a little bandage stamp on it. Get him out of here. Great shot. Takes him out. Does not take him out. Dig this. Toad did nothing. You suck, Toad. Get out of my face. Now I gotta block all these shots. Jeez! You just hopped up on me. I want that perfect bonus. I need that excellent shot. Two ring moves. Can I do this in one? <laughs> I was gonna say, can I do this in one? Why would I need two? Regular Hammer should be able to finish up this job. These dudes are already light. They're just little pokey heads right now. Get out of my face, dog. Bop. Nice little 20 smack. And we get a little bit of coins. Awesome. We would've got a good amount if we would've did a perfect. That would've been like close to 700. Nice dig right here. Just dig toad so we can run. Nice coins, nice coins. Leave me a pokey, yo. Chill on me. Chill on me. I swear if this thing hits me. All right, we good. We good. Yo, dry buns is quick, though. Be quick, though. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Bruh, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. <laughs> I got face off with these dudes. And where are the buzzy beetles coming from? What do you mean? There was no buzzy beetle in sight. Now my face. Okay, so puzzle here. Can I just move the sides down like that? Nah, that's not gonna do it. That's not gonna do jack nothing. Okay, I already kinda got this. I saw the server like this. A buzzy beetle chilling like that. Can I do this? Nope. Can I get the lineup like that? Hold on, hold the phone. Hold the banana slice. We got two moves. That's nutty. Two moves to do this. Hmm. Hmm. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I feel like I have to do this and maybe slide these dudes. Hmm. Let me buy some more time. Let me buy some more time. I'll figure this one out. Give me, give me an extra 29 seconds. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's switch it to the ring. Because this seems like it's a move. Right here. Line these buzzy beetles up like that. Hmm. Or maybe it's just throwing me off. Maybe I have to do this. Nope. Not looking good for jeans right here. Okay. I guess we'll just go here. I guess we'll just have to take a two turn shot here. Uh, um, hmm. Bro, why can't I do this one? What do you mean? Come on! I have no clue. I have no clue. I'm just gonna take the the two turn step. We're gonna go here and I'm gonna just line up maybe three. Three out of four. Yeah. There we go. Line up's locked. Uh let's go with the, my shiny boots. Get them! If not, I'll just go regular boots. If they don't come, they might not because we don't have the 1.5 multiplier. Yeah, see these things are just eating up. They eating up all these shots. Uh, we're gonna go with the regular boots. Get it. These regular boots should be able to take them out. I hope so. Get it. There we go. Tens all around. All gone. All right, cool. Oh, yo, what? Toad! Toad doing them dirty! Did you see that? Toad just flicked up some coins and get out of my face. Did 24 damage to all of them. My dude. Just clunking on them. We got two moves. This one? Like, dude, it's throwing me off so much. We got this. Oh, this one. There. Okay, never mind. Now I kind of know how to do the other puzzle. And spin this one all the way around. Yeah, now I kind of know how to do the other puzzle now that I figured that one out. Um, do I go shiny boots? Yeah, let's go shiny boots. Let's finish this one off. Because I know there's one, uh, there's one dry boons over here that could take a hit, a big shot. Actually, this other one's going, one of them's going to be able to. I think I got to hammer them. I think I have to hammer them. I don't think the, oh no, they all died. Okay, beautiful. I was going to say, I think I got to hammer them to take them out because they were just falling and dissipating their boots and all that. But I am out of, uh, my what's called did break. My shiny boots, I'm going to place some in there and my shiny iron boots to they go out as well. So I'll place both of them in there. Now we are ready to go, and we are now gonna go head over to the uh, other little towers and get going with that. -na 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 -na. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's what I want to do in today's video. I want to just unlock the yellow streamer tower, and then in the next video, we're gonna actually be uh, taking on the yellow streamer and defeating our third streamer. So we'll be about halfway done this game, which is awesome. I love these dick spots, yo. If you can get some good goodies in here. Look at that gold hammer, bro. Don't mind if I do. I gotta start using them more because you get a. I heard you get a good amount of gold, or it's just extra gold when you're battling. It's a hammer that just gives out gold, so it's a. It'll do do the job that you want it to, and it'll give you extra gold. So might as well start using it. But like I was saying, there are two other towers. So if we head back over to Toad's Town right now. We can actually, uh, there should be two doors left and right, right in the middle of the entrance. I'll show you guys. Yeah, see right here, there's two snippets just chilling there. We should be able to talk to them and be able to go through. Let's see. Good day, Keyholder. As a guest of the hotel, you're welcome to use this exclusive door to the Scorching Sandpaper Far West. So, beautiful. Exactly what I wanted. I need my boot car. I do need my boot car, so I might as well just use my boot whistle. Make things easier for me. 
Um, oh, yo, I hit the dig button. And we got a coin. I'll take that all day. Let's use my, uh, my boot whistle. Where's that? Right here. Come here, boot whistle. <whistles> Come here. <laughs> Come here, car. That's the best thing. Yeah, the boot whistle rocks. But now we're here. Oh, I can actually uh, fill in some holes and stuff. Get Professor Toad to dig up. Come here, Toad. Get digging, buddy. Dig right here. What we got? Up with you, yo, dude. Oh, my God. I love getting all this gold, especially stacking up because I'm always usually low on gold. You guys know that. That's all. Well. On to the next room. Next one. Let's go. Getting all these dig holes. Never know what they got. Never know what they got. Hup. Ah, that one was out. Ah, no, that one's too bad. I was going to say, is it all one coins? One coins are doo-doo. When sometimes you can get 100 and all that. Oh, dude, just chilling here. Bottomless hole. Oh, this one looks good. Hold up. You want to tell me there, there's got to be something good in here. Oh, yes, sir. 100 coins and all that good stuff. Give me that. Nice little confetti bag. Any confetti holes? I see one, which I'm going to get. And there's a toad bell ringing, but I just have no idea where the toad's at. Yo, boo. Chill on me, boo. Chill on me, dude. Leave me alone. This should be a two smacker, I think. I smacked it up. Give me that. There we go. Okay, that's all the bottomless holes there. And now we'll go over to this tower and uh, try to light this one up. Or at least see what we got to do. We probably got to collect a jewel. Because every single one we did have to collect a jewel for. So we're probably going to go in there, get a little riddle, and then have to figure this one out. Let's hop back. Come here. What we got to do, man? What we got to do? Show with the jeans. Show with the jeans. Okay, so we have another fire elemental thing. Let's... Is. Okay, so we do need a jewel. It's empty. Eclipse the sun above the lake. A buried eye is yours to take. Eclipse the sun above the lake. A buried bruh, 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 bruh. I'm. Wait a minute. Hmm. I only know of one lake. So eclipse the sun above the lake. I only know of one lake. So he did put that in his notes. So we do do need to go get the gem. I only know of one lake, and that's back in the Shroom City. But Eclipse the Sun? There is no sun. Eclipse the Sun above the lake. And then it's buried. It said it was buried. So I guess we gotta dig at a certain spot. Which I had to guess. That's, that's how we got all the all the jewels. You had to dig them up. But there's only one lake that I know of. And it's in Shroom City, right? I believe it should be right down here. Let's hop out my boot car. Come here. Right? Yeah, okay. So there's a lake here. Come here, lake. Eclipse the Sun. So, it's, there's... Is that considered a sun? See that little dot in the sky? And you can see it reflecting. It's a black thing. And that's the only thing moving. Is that, is that Eclipse? Like, Eclipse just means, like, something goes in front of it. So, there we go. That's Eclipse right there. Now what? That's gotta be it, though. But it's the only thing that's moving is that. Do I just dig here? Hold up. Bro, I'm a genius. I am a genius. I am, a, I am the smartest YouTuber out there. That's a fact. Hashtag jeans 200 IQ. <laughs> Let's get it. That is tough. Let's go. I thought that one was going to take me a little bit longer, but we did get that jewel easily. We chilling. We are chilling here. Do I go get the other jewel first? No, we're going to go place this one in and uh, set this light off. But I think all we need is the jewel and the fire to be lit up. And once both of them are lit up, then the light or the light beam will come down and hit the streamer. It's pretty cool. Go to top out. Get up here, buddy. I gotta move my boot car. It's right in front of the way. Do you know the way? I do not know the way. Get up here. Come here. Place this little jewel in there. I love solving these little puzzles. I love solving these little, little puzzles. Luckily, I didn't know of a lake. Because at first, I was thinking, I was just like, is there even a lake? And then I was thinking, okay, Shroom City, there is a lake. That was the only lake I knew of. And then the black dot, well, which is supposedly the sun that is missing, is the, was the only thing that was moving on the lake. So I was just like, okay, let's do it. But we got to do a little fire elemental performance. We skipped it. I skipped it real quick for you guys. And we lit it up. It's on fire. The jewel is shining. And the toad tower is moving now. And it's going to shoot the third out of the four light beams onto that little temple. So we are now 75% done. This little main quest right here of opening up that yellow streamer temple. Get it, dog. Get it. Get it, man. Looking better and better every single time. So now we just need to head over to the right side and finish up this because it only needs one more little light. Let's get it, Toad. Professor Toad, onward. See what it, oh, what's going on with this one? Professor, are you okay? Nah, he died. <laughs> I love how when they're like damaged, their little papers just fold it. It's hilarious. Or when they're hurt or something. Oh my God, it cracks me up. Like that, I just love the little details that they put in Paper Mario. It's like the jokes that they do and the dialogue, the little paper folds. Just, they do little funny things, which crack me up. But there we go. This thing's turned. Now that this tower's facing a new direction, too, they must all do that, huh? Yeah, we got it. We need one more. Let's go. Onward. That boot freaks me out, dude. That boot cooks. He's fast. If I didn't have this boot car, we're dead. 
He just outruns me and just she gets cooking. All right, so one more sandpaper. Or one more, yeah, sandpaper far east now? Yeah. Come here, let's talk to him. I talked to him in the blue car? Yeah, I can. That's awesome. Come here, let me in here. That's tough. We can talk to him in the blue car. So now I don't have to hop out, get back in the blue car, all that good stuff. Or at least use my boot whistle. But over here, oh, we got pokies or some toads. What you want? Let me go sneak up on these toads real quick. Chill on me, pokies. Chill on me. Bro, are you serious? They all went on the ground? Okay, wait. I see the two toads. I see the two toads. I got them both locked in. I'm doing pretty good with it. I know exactly where the two toads are at. Right here? Oh, I gotta dig it. I gotta dig it. There should be a toad. Yep. And the one on the right should be toad. I got my eyes locked on them. I usually do good with like puzzles like this. Be right here. It's, it's around here somewhere. Come here. There he is. Yo, look, bro, I ain't a god. I ain't a god. I watched them both at the same time. My eyes were going different directions. I was like, what's good? I was like a chameleon. You ever see chameleons? They like their eyes can go in two different spots. It's hilarious. <laughs> you haven't never seen a chameleon look two different ways. Look it up right now. Legit, just like pause this video, hit your little search on the YouTube bar, and check it out real quick. It is hilarious. It's definitely worth it. We got these bottomless holes over here. And here's the fourth and final tower. Just chilling, lurking here. Yeah, I love finding these tall, lanky guys. Tall, lanky toads, my dudes. Let's hop out here. Let me go fill up this uh, not bottomless hole. I cannot just not fill it up. If I see it. I got to get it, you know? Give me that. Give me that, boy. Unless I have no confetti. That's like the one rule. There should be some more confetti chilling here. I'm going to go hop up here and go see the puzzle or the riddle in order to get this gem. Because we got to have another riddle. It will be awesome if it's just chilling in there. Of course not. Of course it's not. Like, get out of my face. All right. Near walls of wave, near walls of waves, a fireplace, an eye is there by earths and keys. Near walls of waves, a fireplace. Walls of waves, fireplace. I know of a fireplace. I think there's two fireplaces to be exact. I think there's one all the way back in the beginning. And there's one down right outside of Shroom City and to the right. By earth's and case, so we gotta dig at a fireplace near walls of waves. What do you mean by walls of waves? Okay. I know where fireplaces are at, so I'm gonna go towards the fireplaces, and I guess maybe the walls of waves will actually make sense. But walls of waves, there are walls like around it, but I don't know what if it means like walls of waves. I know of walls. Because at the fireplaces, it's like there's a bunch of brick walls around it. But what do you mean by walls of waves, man? I'm thinking like, I don't know, wavy walls, like <laughs> something like that. But. There should be a fire. I know there's one all the way back at the beginning, but I'm pretty sure there is another one closer to here. So before we go back to that beginning one, we might as well check up on this first one. Hold up, dig spot. Oh, hold up. Pokey. What are we going to dig up first? Come here. What we got? Oh, yes, sir. Give me them hundo coins, though. Back in the boot car. Back in the boot car. Back in the boot car. Run! <laughs> go, 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 go. I think there's one over this way. Over near this tower, or at least to the right of it. Yeah, see? There are these brick walls. So I think there's a fireplace over here, right? Yeah, there is a fireplace. Yes, sir. Oh, yo, chill on me! Let's hop out of here. Go here. There are walls of... Wait, how did I fall through? That, that thing should have been filled. That's wax sauce. That's wax sauce. Come here. Yo, boo, leave me alone. Boo, chill on me. Chill on me, boo. So here's a fireplace. Can I just, like, dig here? Can I just like dig here or something? Can that do it? Nope. Can I dig inside the fireplace? Oh yes, sir, dude. I'm bro, I'm too good at this game. I'm too good. We got the square jewel. Awesome. See, I know there's. A, I'm pretty sure there's another fireplace all the way in the back too. Like no, in like the beginning, when you first get to this place, I, I believe there's a fireplace there. But we can have. Oh yo, chill on me, yo. You gotta spawn right in front of me. That's wax sauce. Oh, look at all that confetti, yo. You need confetti? Just hit up these little bushes, man. These bushes rock out. They, they know what to do. They know what to do. But there we go. Got the fourth and final jewel. So now all, all that is left to do is actually go head back to that tower. Place it in the little holder. Light up the the little fireplace or light the lamp. The torch. What is that? The cauldron? The cauldron? I, I think cauldron is the best word for it. The cauldron with fire. Super super hot fire. I spit that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Let me know if you guys got that reference. That's like old, old YouTube videos. You guys gotta be a little bit older, like, like my age. I think my age is like one of the last ones that actually like knows that YouTube video. Super hot fire. I spit that. Whoa! <laughs>
<laughs> oh, that cracks me up. I remember I was so young when that video came out. O only OGs know. Only OGs know. Let's get it. Place that jewel in there, and then we just walk up over here. Yo, Olivia, I need you here. Use developmental power. Yeah, I want to skip the performance this time. I don't, I don't, I don't want to see. It's not worth it. Let's just light it up. The jewel is sparkling again. They're chilling. And this thing's going to move again, and we're going to spaz out again. Acting like we haven't seen this before. The last one, beautiful. Beautiful. Hopefully this, uh, this, this uh, place is cool. Because I really did enjoy the Fire of Elemental Cave. I thought that was such a cool cave. It was, like, not as puzzly as the other ones. It was more so, like, action-packed. You had the run and all that cool stuff. So hopefully this one is, like, the same. And it's just tons of fun. Oh, but a turtle power comes up. The Earth Elemental Power stamp comes up. So we got to go back there and use the Earth Elemental Power Tower thing. I don't even know. Wait, I don't need to fall down, do I? Am I floating? No, you don't need to fall down. You're chilling, Olivia. You're chilling. Like, those little dialogues is exactly what I'm talking about. They are exactly what I'm talking about. But now, we're finished up here. We can roll out. We can get grooving along. Do 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 I cannot wait for a more Nintendo games to come out. Like, that's the only thing bad about summer when you are a gamer. It's just like, bruh, nothing comes out in the summer. Like, we had, like, this is the only thing that did come out for Nintendo people. And not everybody did buy this game because it's not, like, a mainstream game. You guys know what I'm saying? But Pikmin 3 Deluxe Duke does come out in October, which I'm super, super hyped for. Like, super hyped for. I'm a big Pikmin fan. If you guys have never played Pikmin, I highly recommend picking it up. Tons of fun, great solo player game, lots to do. Like, it is just an absolute blast. I do wish that they did make a 4, but since the Wii U didn't do too well, not, not many people played it. So, they're just doing the deluxe remakes on a lot of things. But, ah, Professor, this is where the yellow streamer seems to end. We know it goes deeper, but we can't take down the reach to spool and disconnect it. It's all good. We got all these little shiny things right here. We're going to go over here and uh, set off this little, uh, this little Earth Elemental stamp. But, nah, 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 come on, yo, let me do this. Stop talking to me, Toad. Olivia, you too. Knock it off. I'm not trying to play around today. I'm trying to get my work done and get in this temple, man. Well, this looks a bit different. Something light up. Yeah, we were like, I already figured this out. I already figured this out. We chill. Let me hop out here. Get up here. No, I don't want to read it. I want to hop up. There we go. I want to hop up here and use the Earth Bell Method Power, which we haven't used in forever. We haven't used this power in forever since like the beginning of the game. And I'm going to just skip it. You guys already know. He's going to turn into a giant turtle right here look at this thing oh yes sir and do a little screech all that cool stuff and raise this tower up oh my lord hopefully it's big oh dude it's huge oh it's big 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 toads too we got toads stone toads oh this looks insane this is gonna be hype when we do this this is gonna be hype when we do this that looks amazing yo dude this world just keeps getting better and better it does give us a free save which is awesome which is dope Look at this, the Temple of Shrooms. Looking awesome. Goodness, this must be the Temple of Shrooms itself. This is what I meant by desert sand and tombs. Ah, the ancient ones did love a good cryptic hint. Awesome. Hopping down here, yo. Look at that jump. Now that the temple is awake, do you think we can follow the streamer, which leads into the crack I see? You're right, the streamer certainly appears to terminate inside the temple. Yeah, so that's what we gotta do. We got, that's what we gotta do. But we're gonna be actually taking that in the next episode that is going to be it for today's video if you guys did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live as the next episode we take it on the temple of shrooms and defeating that yellow streamer thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one peace out everyone